All right, moving on with the uh, with the slides. Here are all the uh, parts that make up the cross and top slide. Um, these are all galvanized. Most of them turned out pretty nice. Some of them had quite severe pitting. Those are not uh, as nice as I would have liked them. I did try and galvanize the slides but they are uh, made of cast iron uh, which is very hard to galvanize. Cast steel usually works fine. Cast iron well because of the high carbon uh, content doesn't want to be galvanized. Um, unfortunately the guys from the uh, electroplating factory um, when they noticed that uh, they didn't uh, turn out pretty nice they decided to spray paint them. So I spent at least an hour uh, cleaning these uh, up again. Um, there's also a bag with uh, all kind of nuts and bolts that still needs to be cleaned. Even though the uh, galvanization of the slides was a total failure, the acid dip did take care of all the rust. So when I got them back you could really see uh, where the wear pattern is on these uh, slides. Uh, I noticed that some fly has been uh, cluster shitting on the top slide. Here's the, uh, the lower part of the uh, cross slide. It's, uh, it has the most wear. There's a pretty distinct ridge down there where it's uh, riding on the top of the uh, way. Uh, there's quite a bit of pitting on the flat side. I did uh, did uh, stone this. There were a few high spots. Here are all the uh, small parts that uh, belong to the uh, uh, cross and top slide. I just soaked them in uh, some diesel. I sure hope that I can remember where they all belong. I put a bit of grease on the shaft because it was pretty rusty. Um, there's also one uh, ball race still on there. I couldn't get it off but so it got a nice coat of uh, zinc but I don't think that's a problem. Alright, I've already greased up these bearings. One And that's then uh, that's another ball race. They are pretty tight on there, and I even <coughs> come on, even uh, even after grinding a bit off. They hardly fit. And the last one. Okay, okay. Um There's a small set screw in here that uh, protrudes. Um, tolerance are pretty tight on this part. I did uh, sand off the sink because it just wasn't fitting anymore. Okay, so you put it in halfway and then there's this little piece that acts as a kind of a spring load on uh, the dial. And it sits in here in a groove. I don't know if you can see that. 
here's a better look at it you can see the little flat spring sitting in a groove and it pushes against the uh, the dial giving it uh, just enough drag so that's back together and now you need to lock it down with uh, these uh, round screws it's pretty annoying but I don't have any replacements so I use a uh, drill bit to lock them down it's not great because this is a uh, copper and it's pretty soft so some of these holes are already uh, worn out well that should do it next is uh, the ball handle but that's a press fit so I probably need to uh, uh, polish this up and remove the uh, sink layer a few wax with the uh, nylon hammer and it's uh, it's back together I also assembled the other one I fixed the, uh, the slide to the bed I'm wondering if I should remove this uh, paint no, well, I'm gonna leave it like this for now that goes like that alright I'm gonna throw on some oil and fasten things up I had this part uh, mounted the wrong way so I had to take it apart again there's it's quite a bit of play in here I guess I'll have to live with it the, uh, the sound you're hearing comes from the uh, dial indicator rubbing against the uh, well, the other part alright the uh, thread protector is on there and now I'm um, uh, and now I should install the uh, top slide but before I'll do that I am going to uh, work a bit on this uh, gib it has quite a lot of grooves and a very big ridge I don't know if you can see that on camera I'm gonna grind that off and then uh, try and flatten it with a stone I spent almost an hour uh, grinding and rubbing this thing on a stone and it's well it's not perfect but it's good enough for me uh, with my limited uh, tools and knowledge I'm not gonna get it any better so this will uh, this will have to do the uh, the ridge by the way um, is 
caused by the top of the by the top of the dovetail. It's uh, it's right. It sits right there, and the dovetail was digging in on the gib, causing that ridge. And by the way, what's the best way to keep uh, a stone flat? I really should Google that. I'm gonna drill and tap two holes into this uh, cross light that uh, can be used to uh, lock it up. The same uh, I'm gonna do for the uh, top slide. Here's my uh, drill setup. The uh, table on this uh, cheap uh, bench drill always flexes, so I'm using an old uh, car jack to uh, make sure that the uh, table stays uh, horizontal. So that's uh, the locking screws taken care of. Um, this one is a bit off center because of uh, a notch on the inside that keeps the gib in place. Um, I gotta find some nicer screws or maybe cut these to length. I don't know yet. This, uh, this uh, nut, brass, whatever thing, you need to screw it down from uh, the underside. Ah, there it is. I've been looking for some Allen heads, but didn't have uh, the correct length. So the old ones go back in. These here are the uh, the gib screws. Um, they uh, look homemade flat screws. Um, they are uh, too short to add a uh, locking nut, so I found these uh, M8 um, Allen heads without a uh, well without a head. They're a bit long, but at least I can add a uh, a locking nut. Unfortunately, I don't have enough of these, so I gotta find some more. But uh, this is what I'm gonna use. Threads are a bit loose. That's the. Uh, Cross slide down onto the uh, top slide. A bit of rust prevention. There was no uh, washer underneath here, and I drilled and tapped a hole in this probably to uh, lock this nut down.
the uh, protractor hail is a bit hard to read but I doubt that it will see much use Sorry. All right. Let me bolt this down. These screws are a bit fiddly because uh, you need to pack them up in there in the hole and then you need to well kind of wiggle them into place and yes I did switch that thing around I uh, had to switch out the uh, thread protector with the lower slide it's the same length, the same size, dimension, or whatever, but it just isn't fitting. It uh, shows you that uh, standardization wasn't uh, as good in the old days as it is today. Here's the uh, gib of the top slide. Look at how rough that outside surface is. I guess it doesn't matter. Now I gotta get those screws in from uh, below. As you can see I'm short one gib screw so I got to find one of those. Hopefully the store has them. So now I only need to top it off with a tool post. That's it. Done. Well, doesn't look too bad. I'll leave you with a before and after shot.